shadow. Okay. There should be a shade lob memory around here somewhere. Sirith Ungol. Wait, where's Sirith Ungol? Is this Sirith Ungol? No, this is not Sirith Ungol. All right, so apparently I need to be over here. Fast traveled that way. Got it. Well, that was a mistake. in the light for many years naked to the sun but it is not to be my fate like my mother before me I devour the light it feeds a hunger that is insatiable but I came from darkness and I shall always return to it the caves will be my home The web revealed. We must stand against them. Destroy them. They will only keep coming. Sacrifices must be made. You would abandon me. into a volcano. Spider, 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 spider. Spin the web, because that's what spiders do. I walked across the plains and deserts, the stones of... Ah, I probably uh, start from the very bottom. 
Like the elves, Sauron values wisdom above all else, but for him it is a cold, hard thing. He believes freedom is an empty virtue. He believes that Middle-earth seeks perfection and order. He believes that he will achieve what those before him could not. He understood that power did not come from armies, but the willingness to sacrifice, to lie in wait. This is the truth he taught me. And so I lie in wait, and when the day comes, I will make my sacrifice. There is a beauty in power. There is a beauty even in violence. But there is no beauty in tyranny, in the rule of one. That is why he must be stopped. I saw a battle upon a tower. I saw the dark lord defeated and a bright lord take his place. But the world did not change. I repeat, the world did not change. The old gods abandoned us, and the music of the world was thrown into disarray. He saw it as his mission to set it right. One dark lord correcting the mistakes of another. The future is filled with them. Each one determined to save the world from itself, to purge the chaos, to rule all. I spoke to him once of the beauty of Nirinur, the splendor of its hills, its forests. He seemed to shudder. Sauron looked upon the world as chaos and imperfection that he would set right. His rings were perfect. The world was not. To rule, one must be willing to destroy everything that has come before you. Even the memory of it must be purged. Do not think of what is lost. Think only of what it is to be. This is the story the Dark Lord tells himself. This is the story that will bring an end to Middle-earth. He despised the greed of man, the predictability of dwarves, but most of all he hated the elves, who wished to embalm the world. Middle-earth will change, he told me. It will bend to my will. It will not be fixed in place, and it will not be restored to the vision of its makers. It will become something new. Have you ever seen the spider's web, strung with dew? That is the web of fate. All possibilities hang in the balance, but as the sun rises and the wind blows, the dew drops fall and the history is revealed. A dark lord or a bright one? Middle Earth will have neither. I will shake the branch until all have fallen. I don't know if the future is written or unwritten. My mind could travel up and down these paths, and they were like memories. But like memory, the mind would shape them to suit its ends. Are these my fears or my hopes? It takes a cold eye to see the future for what it is. I lived in the light for many years, naked to the sun, but it is not to be my fate. Like my mother before me, I devour the light. It feeds a hunger that is insatiable. But I came from darkness, and I shall always return to it. The caves will be my home. They come to me seeking knowledge, but instead they find death. They ask after their fate, for themselves, for those they love. I gave mercy to those I devoured, and I damned others with visions. The web of fate drives men to madness. They will walk all its threads to find their meaning, only to discover there is no escape. I asked him plainly, When you look upon my form, what do you see? A monster? A temptress? He would not answer. Look deeper, I said, for I am not the masks I wear. In this, Sauron and I were the same. I chose the form of a spider because I wanted to walk the web of fate to weave its strands. The Dark Lord chose something else. He chose a shell of cold, dark steel. He became a machine, a hollow man. I flew from ruin and made a home for myself in the caves. I was here before the first stone of Baradur, and I will survive its fall. I've come to enjoy the darkness. My brood has grown. They extend my reach to Mirkwood and beyond. They bring me gifts as others have. In this way, I will remain Shalob, become the last of my kind. He called me his pet, and I indulged him. He praised my hunger, though he called it passion. We were as one. Now I live in darkness at the edges of his empire. I explore the web of fate, a silent witness to his growing power, his everlasting dominion. It is time for me to come into the light. I walked across the plains and deserts, the stones of Korgoroth, the fields of Nurin. I left pieces of myself behind. I no longer needed them. Others, I lost. This is how I changed. You cannot become something new without leaving parts of yourself behind. Okay. New skill point. Uh, that would probably be the summon of some sort. Story. There it is. Okay, so bodyguard. I don't care about bodyguard. Summon spiders. 
Eh, don't care about that either. But I'm more likely to use spiders than I am to use a bodyguard. Might as well set everything on fire. There we go. Perfect. Give me an order, boss. Nah. Okay. What is this place? I don't know, but there are towers. The ritual. An outpost. A monument. A monument. Hmm. Capture the fortress. Monument, 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 monument. All right, monuments are actually kind of annoying, so instead I'll just do the this mission. Time we attacked this chosen problem at its source. The closer we get, the closer we come to facing their master. Cash money. on the ritual. This is the perfect time to strike. Archers cover the approach. It would be wise to eliminate them quietly. Fear of Marco flies.
to join these three in service to the Witch King. For that is your destiny. You must know this. We will never stop. Not with the Chosen, and not with you. Good stomping. <laughs> Damage by fire, executions, and range. It's killing time. Clumsy, flammable, vulnerable to stealth, fear of pinning, exhaustion, and grogs. Damage by range, execution, and beast. Guy's dead for no reason. Well, that's confusing. Hi. Let us not waste time. I've waited long enough. Fear of pinning, damage by range, execution, and fire. Raised by curse. And mine. You will serve me. I will serve the brave. 
Well fought, but this was not the last ritual, and it will not be the last fight. The effects of our victory will be far-reaching. We've seized the initiative. Now they are forced onto the defensive. Back an enemy into a corner, eh? Usually when they become the most dangerous. The crud? That guy became the overlord somehow? Where'd he go? There it went. Ah, get back here and stop being on fire. Alright, there is all of one warlord in this entire area. Heavily damaged by stealth. No quests here. Uh, let's see, Gondor quest in Gorgoroth. Must have three follower captains in Gorgoroth. That thing, Nurin, Gorgoroth, Sirkroth, blah blah blah. Stuff, things, etc. Shadows of the past, meh. Wow, I'm only 55% done. That's kind of annoying. The Fear Eater. By frightening orcs and dominating him. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm going to call that here for now.